What is research? Scholars have not agreed on a single, objective definition of the term research. This can be observed in the varying definitions of the said term. For example, the Oxford Encyclopedic English Dictionary defines it as the systematic investigation into the study of materials, sources, etc., in order to establish facts and reach new conclusion. While Frederick Kerlinger defines research as the systematic, controlled, empirical, and critical investigation of hypothetical propositions about presumed relations among natural phenomena. Other scholars, such as Paul Leedy, defines research in a more utilitarian manner. For Leedy, Research is a procedure by which we attempt to find systematically, and with the support of demonstrable fact, the answer to a question or the resolution of a problem. Despite these varying definitions, scholars have come up with a working definition of research. Generally speaking, research is defined as the scientific investigation of a problem or gap which aims at the discovery or interpretation of new facts. According to some scholars, the discovery or interpretation of new facts may lead to a revision or even rejection of accepted theories or laws in the light of new facts. As is well known, research makes use of the rigorous and questioning techniques of scientific inquiry. Hence, research employs a scientific method. As we can see, research is a specific term which necessarily involves a scientific rigor. For this reason, any type of inquiry that does not involve a scientific rigor cannot be called research in the strict sense of the word, such as the mere act of gathering facts and information. For instance, someone may say she wants to go to the library to do further research on the meaning, nature, and dynamics of earthquakes. As we can see, the term research is wrongly used here because in the first place, it lacks the scientific rigor. Now, what is scientific rigor? By scientific rigor, we mean the implementation of the highest standards and best practices of science. But what is science in the first place? Historically, according to B. R. Hergenhan, science came into existence as a way of answering questions about nature by examining nature directly rather than by depending on church dogmas, past authorities, superstition, or abstract thought processes alone. In fact, for Hergenhan, from science's inception, its ultimate authority has been empirical observations, that is, the direct observation of nature. But according to Hergenhan, there is more to science than simply observing nature. Hergenhan says that for observations to be useful, they must be organized or categorized in some way, and the ways in which they are similar to or different from other observations must be noted. And for Hergenhan, after noting similarities and differences among observations, many scientists take the additional step of attempting to explain what they have observed. Now, from this discussion, we can now draw a general conception of a science as a systematic attempt to rationally categorize or explain empirical investigations. In fact, the famous philosopher Karl Popper, who was an authority in the history of science, argues that science is a way of testing rigorously the proposed solutions to a problem.